For months, the Ukrainian energy system has been the target of Russian attacks that leave homes, schools and hospitals in the dark, sometimes for days at a time. This is encouraging Ukrainians not only to find unconventional ways to quickly rebuild energy facilities, but to consider possible alternative energy sources. This school in Irpin is the first to get its own solar power station, thanks to an initiative of the non-profit Energy Act for Ukraine Foundation and the support of international donors. Yuliana Onishuk, Foundation founder and CEO, explained that the station consists of solar panels, inverters and a system that allows the school to store solar energy and use it during power outages. Our main aim was to ensure that the system storages are always fulfilled with electricity. In order to ensure that, we developed a technical solution that uh, foresees that if we have a sunny day, the electricity that will be generated from the solar power plant will go to storage systems in order to fulfill them. It's a priority number one. The station's battery storage system can provide the school with a power supply for up to four hours. The school's principal explains that the solar power station will allow schools to operate using power that is cheaper and greener than that provided by gasoline generators. This is a breakthrough for education, that we simply become energy independent. For Ukraine, one year into Russia's full-scale assault, energy security is one of its main priorities. The foundation plans to install similar solutions in a total of 100 schools and medical institutions across the country. One year on, the war has created many new challenges that Ukrainians face daily. But it has also created an environment for rapid innovation that is key to survival. Anna Chernikova for VOA News. Irpin, Ukraine.